Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we factor 4 raised to power x out. We have 4 raised to power x into brackets. Here we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 left here equals to 40 on this side. That is, yeah, this becomes 4 raised to power x times. 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3, then equals to 40 on this side. The next step here, we divide both sides by 3. That is, divide this side by 3, also divide this side by 3, which implies that 3 cancel each other. And we have 4 raised to the power x equals to 40 over 3. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log 4 raised to the power x equals to log 40 over 3 here. Then, here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log 40 over 3. Then from here, we divide both sides by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also divide this side by log 4, which implies here. Log 4 cancelled each other here. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 40 over 3 divided by log 4. Then, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, this same thing as log a minus log b that is yeah this becomes x equals to log 40 minus log 3 over log 4 then next step here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 40 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then from here, we can write 40 as 4 times 10. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to log 4 times 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. And this also follows the law of logarithm when we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. At this here, this becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then here we separate this into two fractions and this becomes x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 which implies yeah log 4 cancel each other we have one left that is x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 
4. Then we can express 10 as 2 times 4. What we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 4 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Excuse me, please. <laughs> this is oversized. All right. Then should be 2 times 5. Okay. That's out of mind. All right. Thank you. Now, next step here. This also follows the law of logarithm. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. And here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then next step here 4 can be written as 2 times 2 that's 2 square and what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 square plus log 5 over log 2 squared minus log 3 over log 2 squared. Then we apply the power of logarithm here yeah? to comes here also here yeah? then from here and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 minus log 3 over 2 log 2. Then from what we have here, log 2 cancel each other. We have 1 over 2 left. That is x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 plus here. Can write this as 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2 minus also 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2. Then here we have 1 plus 1 over 2, same thing as 1 over 1 over 2, which can be written as 3 over 2. That is here we have x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 over log 2 minus 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2. Then here we apply change of base. When we have log a over log b, this is the same thing as log a to base b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 minus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. Then here we bring this together as one fraction. And we have x equals to the same here as 2. And here we have 3 plus log. 5 base 2 and minus here we have log 3 base 2 that is yeah the value of x we have 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x 
equals to 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 or lower 2 is that is here yeah, all we have becomes 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 plus also 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 plus also 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Is it equals to 40 on this side? And here we have same thing together three times. Just like when we have a plus a plus a. This same thing as 3 times a. As this here, we can write it as 3 times 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 40 on this side then yeah we can rewrite 4 as 2 square that is we have 3 times 2 square which is raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 40 on this side and the, yeah, this power multiplies, we have to cancel each other. This becomes 3 times 2 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2. This is equals to 40 on this side. This follows when we have a raised to power n plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n, and also a is to power m minus n, which is empty as a is to power m over a is to power n. Then here, what we have becomes 3 times 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 and divided by 2 raised to power log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Then here we have 3 times 2 raised to power 3, that's 8, and times here follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That is here, this is 5, then over 3 here. This is equals to 40 on this side. Then here, these 3 cancel each other. We have 8 times 5, which is 40, then equals to 40. On this side, that is left hand side is equals to the right hand side, and therefore we conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem, and thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos, turn the notification bell on, share this video, give it a thumbs up, put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.